Well, one of the lesser known Hoosier fish is Cisco, but its numbers in northern Indiana lakes have been decreasing. Earlier this year, the DNR partnered with the United States Geological Survey to research how to restore the population. Wayne 15's Adam Solarzik joins us with what they hope to find. And that's right, Pat and Emily. Cisco are the only cold water fish native to Indiana's inland glacial lakes, providing an important link between an open water habitat and other fish species like bluegill and largemouth bass. But the number of Cisco in areas lakes has dropped dramatically over the last several decades. Approximately 50 years ago we had 40 lakes with Cisco and we're now down to seven. We believe that's the result of cold water habitat loss in these lakes. Cisco thrive in the cold waters of northern Indiana lakes. Indiana DNR has been looking into the population decrease of the species and believe the loss of the cold water habitat is a result of the surrounding land that feeds lakes in the region. The habitat loss uh, for cold water is primarily the result of what we believe is uh, nutrient enrichment, so nutrients running off the land from um, within the watershed and around the lake itself. Crooked Lake on the Whitley Noble County line is one of the seven lakes still home to the slender silver colored fish. Earlier this year, the DNR collected Cisco from Crooked Lake as a part of a research project with United States Geological Survey to compare the water temperature tolerance of Cisco in Indiana to populations elsewhere in the Midwest. We hope to learn if the Cisco in Indiana have a higher water temperature tolerance than elsewhere in the Midwest and then to help determine if there is a difference, uh, if there's a more appropriate population for reintroductions in the Midwest. In December of 2020, Cisco were added to the list of state endangered species, making it unlawful to take or possess the species. Right now, the primary focus of the DNR for Cisco in Indiana is to preserve the existing water quality of the seven lakes with populations before working to restore once the research is completed. Adam Solarzik, Wayne 15 News.